So what are you firing first? Tell you what, why don't you take the bullets out and get some practice time on the trigger. Okay. Because the trigger is quite different. That's a Smith & Wesson 640. I like the sights on this gun. There's not much of a rear sight. You basically put the middle sight somewhere yeah. in, the, in the rear. Very much like your double action trigger yeah. on your SIG. Cylinder. Push forward. Yep, exactly. Pull out. Push this forward. Cylinder release forward. Yeah. There you go. Thank you. And just drop them in. This is called concierge bulleting. <laughs> <laughs> when you close the cylinder, you need to spin it and make sure it locks. No, no, push it in first. Now spin it. Take, take your hands like this and make sure it locks. Don't put your hand in front of the muzzle. You're locked. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh, so we spin it to check if it's locked. It needs to lock in, exactly. Oh, alright. Squeeze it hard. Well, at least the paper's clean. Okay, because of the design of that sight, the fact that there's no rear sight, it takes a little while to get used to where you should be pointing it. Okay, notice how the gun went this way? Yeah. It's because you were jerking, anticipating that recoil. That's okay. what we're talking about with the trigger jerk. All right. Okay, push that cylinder forward. lock forward, pu push the cylinder off from the other side, Turn it upside down, dump the shells out, and you're done. 